news. Here we go again. Healthcare.gov round two. Premiums are spiking and enrollment expectations, well, they're falling. Tracy, is this bad news for the economy? It's bad news for everyone, Brenda. You know, everyone's getting up this morning, pouring their cup of coffee and potentially going to go online and try to enroll. All you're going to find is that those supposed lower price plans long gone. And if they are still there, their prices have gone up. So you're going to be forced into these higher premium plans. In some states, premiums are going up as much as 20 percent. So this is bad news for sentiment. It's bad news for your wallet. And overall, it's just bad news for the economy. Well, Gary B., even if you aren't going to enroll in Obamacare, does this hurt the economy? Does this hurt you? It has to, Brenda. Look, at, at, if we take a step back and look what Obamacare is, it's basically a big shell game. I'm healthy and I can afford it. My premiums, as we've talked to, you know, any number of times on the show, have gone up 40 percent. My 25-year-old daughter who files on her own and, and makes, you know, nothing per year, she gets $176 a month credit. So she doesn't have to pay anything. So all we've done is move money from one entity to the other through the government. Now, when in the history of the United States has moving money through the government in a big shell game <laughs> not hurt the economy? It's just, it's obvious. This is going to kill us just like all the other cockamamie things this administration has done. Sashi, you, you don't think that it is going to hurt everybody. Why not? No, I don't. And I mean, if that were the case, Gary B., then, you know, people wouldn't be so happy with Medicare because it's the I'm exact not happy with Medicare. It's, it's broke. Oh, you don't see Nobody any protests outside by seniors about Medicare. Yeah, but, because they're not paying anything. Everyone, all the healthy people are paying into <laughs> Medicare. We'll leave that alone. For we'll now. leave that one alone. So, no, here's why. Yes, it is a problem in some states. In about eight out of 50, in two out of 50 cities, major cities in the U.S., there are problems with the price increases going up because insurers are dropping the lower price plans. That's about competition. The upside of that is that about 25 percent more health insurers are getting in this year, and it will stabilize and work itself out. So for the vast majority of the people involved in Obamacare, the prices are either, the premiums are either going down or the rate of increase is dramatically less. Okay, John, take that on. I, I don't know what's wrong with that pessimist, Gary B. Look, Gary, you didn't get the memo. It's free pizza. It's free pizza for everybody, Gary. Nobody I, has I, to pay. I missed it. I didn't swallow the Kool-Aid. We're just going to get the rich kids to pay for it. Look, this first round of Obamacare has been paid for through a ton of different tax increases. You can go through them, but it's, it's 20 something. No, no, they're and penalties. Yeah, they're penalties. The, the, Remember that? Correct. Correct. It's the nomenclature that gets you when the government, uh, the, you know, that's they call state Stealing pork, also by, by the way. So it's just it's all it's all phraseology with the government. Look, no wonder. I don't think anybody real thought that they were going to get these projections right. Look at how they projected GDP the last four years. Right. They have underestimated it. They've been fifty percent of what actual GDP is. These guys look at the world and they say, "Oh, let's just put some numbers together." No wonder they estimated the numbers. When you estimate thirteen million are going to be in, and they now are saying nine to ten, that's probably going to be lower because they've overestimated everything else. Someone has to pay for this. This is not free. That's either through premiums or tax increases or penalties, whatever you want to call it. Okay, Jonas, when you crunch your numbers, what do you come up with? What does this mean to the economy? Insurance in general leads to overconsumption of, of anything. If you have insurance in your car, you're going to fix a ding if it's covered. If you don't have insurance, you're not going to fix a ding. It's like that with health insurance, too. And whether the rich people are paying for it with the capital gains increased tax or you're paying for it with a higher premium, you're going to now consume more health care because you either didn't have any or you had less coverage. A lot of these increases are because you have more coverage. You have you don't have to pay for uh, physicals what you used to have to pay for. So you're going to see more money spent in the healthcare industry. And a lot of it's paid for by employers, and that's bad for the economy, but so was any employer provided health care. This is just more of an already taxing situation to employers who just want to write you a paycheck to do a job. They don't want to have their HR department having to hunt around for health insurance companies. It's a stupid system anyway we got ourselves into. Okay, so that- as far as the benefits, there's nothing in there that's going to lower costs other than people who get physicals maybe will have better health outcomes later if they're healthier for doing that when they didn't. But we won't know that for years, so it's a little earlier to say, yeah, it's going to get expensive for everybody. Oh, I, I don't Tracy's think that's ready. True. I don't think that's true, Jonas. We have had CEOs, major corporations, down to little mom and pops. Not one person has said, 
Thank God for Obamacare. Not one no, person Because no employer, that. Tracy, Not, no. no employer should have to pay for health insurance. That's why they're saying that. I agree with that, Costs by the way. Are going but up I'm talking about. No, employees. Okay. Employees are angry. Employees don't want this, nor do employers. It is not going to help the economy. If you have an employer who is so wrapped up in trying to figure this out, can't even do business.